yo yo what is up and in this tutorial we're going to be um uh, continuing with our souls series and all we're going to be doing in this one is we're just going to be uh adding in our first uh female character so we can kind of get you know going on our character creator system so we'll be adding it in and going ahead and uh optimizing it a bit and uh so yeah let's just uh go for it all right so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna hop over into the uh metahuman website i want to give a few more notes on um you know adding more than one character you know uh just to kind of make your life easier with the character creator system so all right so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the uh, metahuman website i'll leave a link in the description for getting to the website so we're just gonna launch it and once it's open uh you can go ahead and make your female character i'm just gonna give you some notes on um on one of the ones that I already have that I'm gonna be adding so we'll hop in and I'm gonna edit this one so the main things uh, I want to give notes on so same thing that I said in the uh, the first uh, meta human thing the first video uh, you want to go into sculpt try to pull the back of the head in as much as possible and we're gonna hop over here into skins I recommend for your uh, your first female character I recommend making the skin color uh, about the same as what it is for your male character and I recommend getting the texture to be the same texture so that way it'll, it'll just be easier you know when we get to the character creator system um, and then you know same thing don't add uh, you know freckles accents don't add makeup none of that no hair um, and proportions a note I want to give over here um, for every new character that you add, I recommend making the head skill down here. I recommend making it exactly the same as for, for all of them. I mean, you can kind of go up or down a little bit. Um, but that's mainly, uh, it's, it's just going to make your life easier when we get to making hair and stuff. And, uh, yeah. And I think that's pretty much all the notes I have for you here. And yeah, keep all the proportions the same. I'm for the female character. I'm just using average, the average uh, right here, and then the top average one right here. And um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and hop back into Unreal Engine, and then we'll add this character in. So once we're back in the Unreal Engine, you're gonna go down to Content Browser down here. We're gonna add Quixel content. Then we're gonna go to the MetaHumans tab, My MetaHumans. And then you're going to find your character that you're adding in. Mine is this one. So I'll just get the update. So you just want to download it. Uh, I'm going to download it at medium quality. And then we're going to add it to the project. And once you get it uh, in the project, we're going to go over here into our meta humans folder. We're going to pull up our female character. And we're just going to drag her into the world. And we're gonna do like how we did when we um when we optimized our first metahuman. So we're gonna do the same thing for this one. So we're just gonna open it up. We're gonna go to the viewport. We're gonna scroll down over here on components. Oh, uh, what in the world? I've never seen that. I'm just gonna reopen that. I have no idea why that happened. Uh so scroll down. Go to the LOD sync. And we're going to set the minimum LOD to 4. You can set it a little bit higher if you want to. If your PC can handle it. I like using 4. <clears throat> and that's all we're going to do for that. So now we need to just go through and optimize the textures. A lot of them are going to be shared textures from our first MetaHuman. So, so we won't have to do much for uh, a lot of them. But we're still going to you know go through and just check. So first we're going to go to the body. Uh, click on the body, go down to the element, click on the material, and then we're going to go to the body base color, and we're going to bump these down to 2K, so 2048, and we'll save that, exit that one out, go down to the other underwear, we're going to bump this one down to 1K, so 1024, save that one, exit it out, then we're going to go to the mask right here, bump that down to 1K, save and exit it. And then bump down to the normal. That one's 2K. We can leave that alone. Uh, go down to the roughness main. Uh, we'll bump this down to 1K. And then we'll close that out. And then cavity main. We'll open that up. Bump that down to 1K. 
save that exit it out and we're good on that so now we're gonna go to uh yeah we can go through the feet textures here uh ambient occlusion i think all of these are shared actually uh if you have the same shoes that is if you chose a different pair of shoes then these might be different so we're, we'll still go through them so for this one for me they're all going to be shared because I'm, I'm using the same shoes um so i don't have to do anything to this but yeah we're gonna bump uh bump the ambient inclusion down to 1k uh bump the custom stitch down to 1k uh the mask bump down to 1k the normal map uh you can leave at 2k we'll scroll down uh the macro uh you can bump that down to 1k uh the normal you can leave at 2k and then we'll close this one out then we'll go down to the face and we're gonna go into this top material here and for the lipsticks right here we're gonna bump that down to 1k and the blush right here we're gonna bump that down to 1k and uh the baked groom we're gonna bump that down to 1k uh the next one down we're gonna bump that down to 1k we're gonna scroll down secondary color textures uh we can leave that alone this color main right here that's 1k we can leave it alone uh this guy i'm pretty sure we can yeah we can leave that alone the normal 2k we can leave that alone uh the roughness and main is 1k we can leave that alone the cavity main we'll bump that down to 1k and i think we're good there so now we need to go to the eyelashes um or actually scroll down here um i think all the gums are, are shared we can go into the parent the teeth open that one up so how i did that you can double click on the parent right here it'll open up this teeth one right here you'll open that parent up and it'll take you to the uh the main texture here we're just going to kind of scan through these and see if we're, there's anything we need to change we can leave that alone uh open this one up we can leave that alone Open that one up. We can leave that alone. Uh, this one. That one's 1k, but uh, that's because it's shared. But if it's not, you can bump that down to 1k. Open this one. You can bump that one down to 1k if it's not already. We'll go over here. The black color. We can leave that alone. Uh, this one right here. We can leave that one alone. It's 1k. Uh, the normals down here. That's 1k. We can leave it alone. Uh, this one. That's 1k. We can leave it alone. Uh, this one. That's 1k. We can leave it alone. And this one. Uh, that one's 512. We can definitely leave that one alone. Alright. So we'll close that out. We'll close that out. And we'll close this one out. And I think the only other one we really need to do anything to is the M eyelash down here. So element 10. We'll open that up. And then we'll just go into this texture. This one's 2K. We, we're going to bump that down to 1K. And I think that's all we need to do. So, yep. Fairly uh, fairly easy. Quick one to do. Just bringing in our uh, our second, you know our second character that we're going to be using and uh you know optimizing it a bit we'll just go ahead and do a save so uh yep that's all we're gonna do here if you like the video hit the like button if you're new around here definitely subscribe if you have any questions let me know those down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one peace out